so um, I've been trying to think out, find a way of how I can light the coal mine section, bearing in mind that this is a lift off. Um, I need to lift this off in order to move the farm mountain in case uh, I need to get access to it. So obviously I can't have any long wires attached to it. Uh, so I started doing some experimentation. So what I've done, turning wrong, I've uh, got some of this this copper wire here or copper tape, and then I soldered on um, the wires onto the tape, negative and positive, uh, as you can see there, and then basically uh, connected that up to a power source switch the power source on which is going to be the, the lights over there and then by connecting these together right, I'm going to try and do this one hand so I've got a light here um, I got a thing that I know we're going to do this is by putting the, uh, the camera down but basically when I connect negative to that and then positive to the other end there um, the thing will come on so what I'm going to try and do I'm going to put this down and work it out see what I can do right so I've now just wrapped the tape around that end and I'll get the negative side press negative side onto there and if I've done everything right hang on have I got the power on yeah 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 yep um, Bring that back over to rest on the top and then pick up a negative side, put that on the tape there. And what should happen is the lights will come on. If I take it off, no, they're not on. Yep, they nearly were nearly nearly got it then. So Put that on there, hold that down, there you go. So, so the principle is, if I soldered these ends here onto another strip of copper like that, and then these two strips of copper touched each other, then it will come on. So, there's my mine bit. So if I put a strip of copper underneath there, and then I put a strip of copper onto there, the two copper strips will touch, and I have a negative and I have a positive. And when I place that down on top, the negative, the positive, and the negative should touch and light up any white, white uh, lights in there. So that's the principle. I'm going to see if it works. Okay, so I've drilled two holes through there on the other side. Connected them up. You can see the lights there. It's, it's still weak, but the principle is the same. You can see the lights coming on there and underneath there. Uh, so the principle works. Just got to get a very good, a better connection than I've got there. Now those lights underneath, obviously, what I'll then do, as you can see, where it's got it fixed on there now, is um, on this bit, I'll do cut a channel in there for them to sit in. So now I know that works, what I can now go ahead and do is get these in, these little lights here on the side there, and then connect them up to the same solder them to the same tabs as underneath. So the principle works, the idea works, just gonna crack on and do it. So I'll be back in a bit once I've done it. So now I've stuck some copper pieces down there and then soldered to positive and negative on it, and they should correspond to the underside. Uh, excuse the shaky camera of uh, that where I've got the positive and negative there, 
and then hopefully I mean this is the first time I'm not even tested it so I put that down there um, it looks very much spot on the only way I'm going to tell is by wiring it up so I'm just going to do that now so okay um, in principle it works if I push down you can see push down there you can see the lights coming on there and underneath there um, it's not I just it's because it's raised up so what I'm now going to do is where the wires underneath I'm just going to dig the channel up so it sits a bit flatter well, hopefully that will work Okay, back in a minute. So, with a few adjustments, as you can see, I've got the contacts there and get the interval contacts there. So, when I now place that down on, still a little bit dodgy, still not right. Just a case now we're getting that level really. Tiny pressure, just a tiny amount of pressure with contact. So just keep working on it. Okay, so here we are again, and uh, with a fit, bit of fine adjustment, bit of extra bit of solder dropped in. If I now throw the switch that should light up and there we go so uh, let's have a look at that, that in the dark I'll just turn around and see if I can switch the lights out um, reach over there you go so and then you got the the coal area lit up in the mine and then I'm just going to put a lamp then so the principles worked the th well the theory was there the principles worked I've got it actually worked on in. So what I'm now going to do is just put a um, lamp post there. Back in a bit. And uh, there we have the finished article. So we've got the pump house lights on. We've got the yard lights on there. And then we've got the coal depot um, lights on. And you can see in the distance then it looks quite effective so that uh, whoops get the lights on so that works which I'm pleased about because now as soon as I pick that up it goes off put it back down and it's on off on so yeah so now I can use the same principle for above there all right when I get wrong to it yeah pretty pleased with that so yeah bit of copper tape bit of careful manoeuvring and uh, job done I can uh, have that lit up all right I'll see you later